Good afternoon, YouTubers. We've all been busy today. I've been flying, I've been shooting, and Fiona's been talking about the great sky god himself, the aviation hero, Harry it, Windsor. It gets worse, Graham. It gets worse. Have you got any of your logbooks? Yeah, yeah. Because when a pilot flies, they enter it in the logbook. Yeah, yeah. How many, yeah. How many actual flying hours have you got, more or less? 1,200. 1,200, right. In real aeroplanes. I've got airplanes. shitloads more in flight sim. Well, People Magazine, bless them, who clearly don't know anything about aviation, and trust me, every aviator across the world, if they read this, is going to go, oh my God, Harry is a loser. Can I just stop you there? There's, there's two things, like flying hours. I mean, don't forget my daughter's an airline hostess. She's probably got more hours than Harry, just serving drinks in the back of the plane. <laughs> Well, there's flying hours and there's flying hours. As far as a pilot's concerned, okay, P1 is pilot in command. So out of his, how many hours has he got? 200 and... According to People magazine, they're actually saying approximately 220 hours. I mean, not even exact ground. So out of 220 hours, let's forget. I mean, don't, don't forget he was a gunner in an Apache. So that will account for a lot of those. But how many hours in command? How many hours P1? That's how he got in a helicopter. I've never seen him fly this a helicopter. This is not a helicopter. Listen to this. Harry was awarded his flying wings in 2010 following completion of the eight-month Army pilot course with the Army Aviation Centre. Le Shawbury, yeah. Learning to fly the Firefly fixed-wing aircraft and the Squirrel helicopter, okay. accumulating approximately 220 flying hours. Now, I want to say something about the word approximately. There's no fucking approximately about it, if you'll excuse my French. Graham's not the only pilot. My best friend of 11 years trained as a pilot. He actually learned at Graham's flying school. Um, and an ex-boyfriend of mine, well, well, it turned out he didn't even have a pilot's licence. He was just another book. He was this pathological liar. Um, and I knew a whole ton of pilots and we're still friends with those pilots. When someone starts to learn to fly, they firstly go to the shop and very proudly buy their logbook. And from that moment forth, an average flying hour would cost them about £100. So they make sure they enter the flying hours, every pilot I've ever known. And they will say to, to you, when you say, how many hours have you got? They'll say, 19 and a half or 19 and three quarters. They are precise, they are accurate, they, they don't get it wrong at all. It's not until a pilot gets over 500 hours that they start going, ah, you know, yeah, I, I could add it up. I don't care so much. But when you have 220 hours flying, which is what People magazine have said, they clearly don't understand and have never hung out in an aviation community anywhere. And believe me, I spent hours hanging out with these guys at Shoreham Airport. They are obsessed with flying hours. And then when they get their night rating, you say, how many hours have you got? And a new pilot will go, Oh, I've got 300 flying hours and one hour night. You know? Yeah, yeah, nice Can you hours explain still. the obsession? And actually people often say pilots become dangerous at 500 hours because they then... Well, yeah, I'll yeah, let yeah, you yeah, explain. Yeah. No, it's I mean, true, it's true. This is a joke for them to say he's got 220. They've actually put that in People magazine. Well, oh, there's night God. hours, there's instrument hours, there's... And they all go in separate columns and you top yeah. them all up at the bottom of the page and then carry it over to the next page. And I just looked on the bookshelf. Uh, I think I'll find mine. I've, I've got one full one and one half full one. So I'll dig them out at some it's point. It's just an exercise in global but, humiliation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, you need, if you if you want to become an airline pilot, you need to go away and do your commercial exams and commercial tests. And then you do your airline transport pilot's license exams, ATPL exams. And when you pass them, you get what's known as a frozen ATPL, which means you've got the ATPL, but you can't use it until you get, I think it was something like 1,600 flying hours under your belt. And I think that's P1. I'm pretty sure that's P1, not just being a passenger sitting in the back. Um, so 230 hours is nothing. It's nothing. You know, you'd expect someone at the flying school... I mean, although I saw my that. video that, um, sorry to interrupt, that it's an inaccessible profession. Having said that, there are literally millions of pilots and aviators all over the world and students and experienced ones. 
It's like saying you got married three days before you got fucking married. There's like billions of people yeah, on the yeah, planet yeah. who got married yeah. who say that's bullshit. Why well, did they choose don't lies? Forget, don't forget, Harry didn't spend a penny on his flying training. They put him in the Army Air Corps, sat him in a helicopter, and sent him up with an instructor. And they said, you won't fail the course, Harry, don't worry about it. And apparently he didn't fail the course. He, they did pass him, but only because he's the, the king's son. And I'll wager something I'd else. like to see him fly a helicopter on his own. Whoever took him up will have been told, don't kill him, for God's sake, don't crash. He's going to be the, son, the king's son. And he's going well, to be with the son. safest of the safest. Yeah. Oh, it's just... It's, it's, it's too humiliating for work. Chest full of medals coming up for Harry next. Oh, don't. This is the Victoria Cross. I got this for being the son of the king. And here next to it, we've got the Congressional Medal of Honour, which I got oh. for being the son of the king. And marrying Meghan Markle, and then a row of more medals. I want to know when he's going to get the Meghan Markle Empress of the Universe medal. And I can't wait to see what that looks like. But I don't care. I don't care what he wants to call himself. I mean, he it, can call himself anything he wants. As I laughing don't. stocks go, I don't yeah. think either of them have grasped the concept of being a global laughing stock. The day they understand that definition is the day they're probably going to shut the fuck up and stop this nonsense. Yeah, if I want to learn how to take drugs, I'll uh, <laughs> come take lessons off Harry. But otherwise, <laughs> I'll give him a miss. I don't want to associate with the likes of him. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>